Can I hear myself? Hello? Hello, 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 hello. There we go. Hello, hello? Okay. That's better. People need to hear me. Okay, fuel flector valve right tank, avionics are on. ATIS is on receive. Now, let's see if this actually has to... That's kind of lame. All right, well. Stability, one five miles. Sky conditions, tower ceiling, broken above 5,000. Altimeter, two nine or three three. IFR approach, visual runway two six left. Arrival and departure runway two six left and two six right. Inform ATC on initial contact, you have information delta. This is the Meadows Airport, it is information delta, limited weather at 1820 Zulu, wind light and variable, tower visibility 15 miles, sky conditions, tower ceiling, broken above 5000, altimeter 2933, IFR approach, visual runway 26 left, arrival and departure runway 26 left and 26 right. Inform ATC on initial contact, you have information delta. This is Pit Meadows Airport, it is information delta, limited weather at 1820 Zulu, wind light and variable, tower visibility 15 miles, sky conditions, tower ceiling, broken above 5000, altimeter 2933, IFR approach, visual runway 26 left, arrival and departure runway 26 left and 26 right. Inform ATC on initial contact, you have information delta. This is Pit Meadows Airport, it is information delta, limited weather. Now what I'm doing is trying to find my Zulu, flight plan, because I... Variable, tower visibility, 15 miles, sky conditions, tower ceiling, broken above 5,000. Altimeter, 2933, IFR approach, visual runway 26 left, arrival and departure runway 26 left and 26 right. Inform ATC on initial contact, you have information delta. Okay, this I think I got Meadows it. Airport, it is from Okay, this is a, a lot to me. Our flight checks were good. Aircraft is into the wind. Nose wheel is straight. Brakes are on. Fuel selector valve is now on both tanks. Mixture is rich. Oil and temperature. Temperature is still coming up, but pressure is good. It's green. Area behind me. No one standing on a ladder. It's always good. Let's go up to 1800 RPM. All right, oil and pressure check is good. Vacuum's good. Let's check our mags. We are at 1800. About a 100 RPM drop. Great. Back to both. Now we're on right. 100 RPMs. That's good. Back on both. Let's test our mixture. Yep, there it goes. And let's test a full idle. Do not want the engine to die. And it did not. So back up to 1000. And to ground, lean. Pre takeoff, harness and doors. We are secured. Flight controls are free. Actually, back a bit. So we are free and correct. Riders, flaps are off. Fuel selector valve is on both tanks. Our fuel quantity looks to be sufficient. About 12 gallons on each side. Magnetos are on both. Our enunciator is good. What else we got autopilot? We do not have. Throttle friction, it's fine. Mixture is rich. Flight instruments, we look good. Radio sucks, that's unfortunate. Uh, avionics will be set. Takeoff briefing, let me do a quick takeoff briefing. Something we should do every single time, whether or not I'm solo or not. 
the normal takeoff for me in a, in a Cessna 7, uh, 172. This is the normal takeoff on runway 26 left. Taxing to the middle of the runway and applying full power. I will control for left yaw with right rudder. I will confirm full static power. Make sure that my engine is putting out its full load. I will call gauges are green. I will call airspeed alive when the needle moves. At 55 knots, I will call rotate and I will climb to 500 feet above ground at about 79 knots, which is VOI for this aircraft. Or at a runway heading as directed by ATC, but it'll be a left hand turnout. Take off safety prior to rotation. If I encounter any problems affecting flight safety, I will call reject and safety taxi off the runway. After rotation, I'm only stopping for failure or for engine failures or fires. With sufficient runway la length, I will land on the runway. Insufficient runway length, pitching for best glide and landing in the airfield just to the t to the uh, right of the airfield or the fields. Things I have to remember is to idle cutoff, fuel shutoff pulled, ignition off, doors unlatched, master off in the case of an emergency if I get through all that. Above 800 feet above ground, pitching for best glide, turning to land on the airfield. If I'm not airborne by Charlie, I'll consider that a problem affecting flight safety and all other emergencies, climbing to circuit altitude and circling for a normal landing. That's all good, right? So, is there a defrost in here? I don't know. Up in the air? Okie doke. Worst case scenario, we'll wipe it off with something. Do I have anything back here? Okay, I think I did this last time. Always good to see. It's Tower, this is uh, Cessna 150, Golf Hotel November X-ray over Albion, uh, 2000 feet, uh, in doubt for uh, landing. Golf Hotel November X-ray Pit Tower, squawk, or correction, identified over Albion, runway 26 left, altimeter 29 or 33, clear to straight in, identified. All right, all in pressure check, landing light. Hotel uh, November X-ray. Strobe light, pedo heat we don't need, heading indicator is set because it's slaved. Mixture is rich. Transponder. ALT. And let us note our takeoff time, which is probably going to be 12.54. Let's pull up to the line. All right, we switch off because we're ready to go. Take ground, good day. This is helicopter air 44, Fox Shot, Victor, my Kiko. We're just running up at the sky again. We're requesting a northbound departure with Delta. Fox Shot, Victor, my Kiko, pit ground, wind, light and variable, altimeter 2933, squawk 3044, contact tower 126 decimal 3, ready to lift. 3044, Delta Mike Kilo. The tower, Delta Mike Kilo, is ready to go on 26 left. Delta Mike Kilo tower, left on wind departure, eastbound. Clear for takeoff, runway 26 left. Clear for takeoff, Delta Mike Kilo. Okay. Now the fun starts. Stick ground is Victor Mike Kiko. Still having some trouble with the buttons on our transponder. If able to be squawked, uh, 1200 today. Victor okay. Echo ground uh, approved. Thank you very much, Victor Mike Echo. All right, feet to the floor. Full power. A lot of feedback there. Gauges are green. Air speed is alive. Hello, hello. There we go. And we are in the air. Down. Uh, Cessna 172, Foxtrot 
Charlie Fox dot X-ray with information Delta Apron 5 for local east. Foxtrot Charlie Foxtrot X-ray pit ground runway 26 right Delta Midair 2933 taxi via Foxtrot Delta cross runway 18 contact tower 126 decimal 3 holding short squawk 3047. All right, we're at 500. Check left, clear left. Squawk 3047, holding short of 26 right. Short Charlie Fox or Texas. On November X-ray tower, cleared to land, runway 26 left. Clear to land, 26 left, total uh, November X-ray. Alright. Check left. Let's head to Chilliwack. Now, 96th should be my heading. See how accurate that I am, but won't. The first thing we're doing is going to um, Langley. Port Langley, I should say. And we'll go to about 2200, staying under inside the uh, terminal area without having to contact. Let's turn off the air. The tower of Mega goes that guy ready for departure. Six Mega Go Tower North South departure via runway three six. Now we'll short runway 26 left, wind light variable, pick up and bring one your discretion. Northbound by 36, then hold short 26 left. Alright, let's stay at 2300 for now. And let's come down to cruise, which I have at 2300 RPM. Oh, I had actually at 2200, yep, 2200. Kidoke. Clean it out a little bit. Landing light off. Now, it is all about navigation. Picture my Gecko Tower, cross runway 26 left, northbound by runway 36 approved. Cross the parallels, northbound, like the Mecca Gecko Tower. Put on the member X ray tower, exit Charlie, taxi by a Charlie Avery 1, spot into ground, 123 decimal 8 went off. Hotel November X ray. Alright, the airport right in front of me there, you really can't see it, but right where the water comes in, that is Fort Langley Airport, which is my first navigation point. It is where I am starting to count my uh, journey. Should be there by 1 o'clock even. Delta my kilo tower traffic, 2 o'clock, 1.5 miles northeast, round 50, 2,500 feet, unverified. Surveillance service is terminated, change on route frequency. Delta my kilo, thank you. Alright, so I've been cleared out of the zone. Traffic is at 2 o'clock, which is over there. A little bumpy. That's fun. All right, so among the many things I have to do while trying to keep my navigation is make sure that I'm not gonna run into anyone, which is highly recommended to not do. And right when I get up to, oh, in about 30 seconds here, it'll be over 
Fort Langley. And then I'll make my first turn. Which will be 73 on the compass. Hello, hello. Okay. Okay, we are at 2,500. Lead is at 101. Please ground, this is Cessna 1722. South India, India, uniform at Ever 5. Request local north departure with ATC information. Delta. Foxtrot India, India uniform, dead ground, runway 26 right, altimeter 29 or 33. Taxi via Foxtrot Delta, cross runway 18. Contact tower 126.3, holding short squawk 3054. Okay, now we should be about 73, which if you look for Can you repeat, I'm a student, sorry. Victor Mike Echo Tower, surveillance service terminated, change over frequency. Victor Mike Echo. Foxtrot India, India uniform, pit ground, runway 26 right, altimeter 2933, taxi via Fox. Hello, hello. Lane Valley Traffic Cessna 152 Bull, Victor Nova Mike. Uh, just east of uh, Crescent Island uh, at 2000 feet, heading uh, east. So, correction, heading west to Langley. Glen Valley Traffic Cessna 172, Delta Mike Kilo, just to the west of Crescent Island at 2500, and I am heading east to Chilliwack. Valley traffic, says no one to give it over Charlie, overshooting the field, eastbound. Well, someone's around here, but I don't see Says no one to what is your altitude? I'm at 1,000. I'm at 1,000 uh, feet, uh, but still uh, there's no visual uh, visual of you. Uh, it's an upper mic. Traffic Delta Mike Kilo is now east of the farmer's fields at 2,500, heading east to Chilliwack. All right, so I've kept a pretty decent heading here, and right up here is Mission Bridge, which is going to be my checkpoint where I'm going to have to do some math. My airspeed is quite quick today. And this is uh, called Dead Reckoning, where I'm making a uh, counting how long it's going to take, and then estimating where I am and how far I have to go, and ideally how much fuel I have. So far so is good. Where I'm headed, uh, in front of me to the right is called Sumas Mountain, and to the front is Chilliwack Mountain, the little bump there, and I'm heading to the very small bump at the end there before I'm heading uh, south to the Chilliwack Airfield. 
So when I become perfectly a beam of emission, I will take my time and then do some math. And then get frustrated that I can't do the math that I used to be able to do in kindergarten as quickly. A little bit bumpy. And I've never experienced it, but I'm told if your head's not hitting the ceiling, then it's not even considered to be moderate turbulence, which is encouraging and terrifying at the same time. And of course the cabin heat doesn't work, that's nice. Okay. Glen Valley traffic, Delta Mike Kilo, exiting the zone uh, just by the Mission Bridge, 2,500, good day. All right, so on my watch, for a beam, 106. I'm marking down 106. Hey, Glen Valley traffic, uh, 172 Golf Hotel, like Victor, climbing through 3,700 eastbound for 4,000 uh, slow flight uh, south of the Farmer's Field. 12277. Super traffic, helicopter Alpha Yankee Mech crossing the Fraser River between Hansik Lake and the towers at a thousand feet heading south. Mission traffic, Cessna 172, Delta Mike Kilo is just uh, east of the Mission Bridge over in Mission City heading east of Chilliwack. Okay, this is to go 18, the duration only took me 6, distance was 10. Took me six minutes, which is zero colon zero six. And I was going exactly 100, which means I got 18 to go. And I'm going 100, it should take me another 10 minutes. So let me think about that. Ten minutes. I had fourteen. That doesn't seem right. All right. So ten minutes took me six. Uh, therefore, I'm about uh, fourteen twenty-two is what I estimated. So that is one and a half. Behind. So plus 1.5, maybe plus 2. Okay. So now I am flying to the city. Still maintaining 73. And so to long area traffic, system 170, Alpha Echo Romeo, over Agassi, 1,500 feet, uh, following the river, westbound towards Harrison Mills. Uh, let's do another call here. Sumas traffic, system 172, Delta Mike Kilo, is just north of Sumas Mountain, over Harrison, and I will be playing the Chilliwack City and then doing a midfield flight uh, over to the left today. That didn't really make any sense. Traffic area, it's uh, 722 Gulf Street Hotel, just on the uh, north end of um, downtown Chilliwack, uh, 2,000 feet in here. Likely landing on 2.5. And I start powering down a little bit here and descending. Get down to 1,500. Get our landing light on. Let's 
go, Mr. Rich. Tilawak, runway 25. Uh, I see a traffic down there. Looks. I don't need to be going so fast. Okay, so let's go to Chilliwack traffic. Two two seven seven. Chilliwack traffic, Cessna one seven two. Delta Mike Golf Delta Mike Kilo is uh, c coming in to overfly the city at one thousand five hundred, then midfield and into the pattern. anyone so it looks pretty light so gonna get slowed down a little bit see the airfield just over there taken off there. No one's currently in the circuit. Other than that, I don't think. At 1,100 feet. Uh, I see my boy over there, so I'm just going to squeeze in in front of him. Spacing should be all right. 1,000 feet. Delaware traffic, Delta Mike Kilo is currently over midfield, uh, joining 07 for the downwind. And Delaware traffic, uh, Foxtrot Julie Yankee Delta is uh, climbing. 
climbing in the downwind uh, for a westbound uh, exit for Pit Meadows, and I've got the traffic joining the pattern. Uh, Delta Mankilo sees you with traffic. Our traffic system 170 Alpha Echo Romeo. We're here at the Mills 1500. Get down to cross the field 1000 and join the circuit. Okay, well, he's right behind me, spacing. Still our traffic in the, in the Echo is taxiing from uh, the fuel pump to the uh, West End 07 for run up. Alright, let's get a bit slowed down here, we're at 100, time to think about flaps and getting ready, tanks on both, mixture is rich, lights are good, mags on, engines in the green, let's get some flaps, airfields all the way over there, and let's go, Delta Mike Hilo's turning base. Alright, let's get set up.
That might have been a better plan because it gets me out of here, but it's really not that busy. I'm just going to go to the north of Sumas, around the mountain there. Indy Delta Bravo is clear of the active. So I'll copy this now, but ground entering final 07, stop and go, uh, remaining in the circuit. So I traffic Papa Whiskey Victor is crossing midfield. We'll be doing the right downwind 07, full stop. I have traffic in sight on the downwind. Still like traffic, Delta Mike Kilo has just started the downwind, but I'm climbing up to 2,500 on my way back. Okay, awesome. No conflict. Uh, 
little more. <clears throat> so the 2500, I don't like going that close to that mountain over there, but just past that, uh, it looks kind of like a little thorn. That's uh, Thornhill. And I literally just figured that out on camera. It looks like a thorn, pointy. So just over that is Albion, which is when I'll be making my call to ATC. See if I can get back on the ground. Duny traffic at Delta Mike Kilo is, well, just over Duny at 2500 heading west to uh, the Meadows. I guess this is something I can do here. Seven, so I'm on the right heading. All right, so I didn't have a checkpoint on this way back. If I did, again, it'd be Mission Bridge. I will make my final call. ATAP says make three calls, one at the beginning, one in the middle, one at the end. I will make one at the end to say I am over Mission City. At that point, I'll get set up on my next frequency. Just over here is Hatsik Lake. Aping 267. Well, I gotta say, Navlog was much more accurate today. Also because there's no winds. I got these traffic to North of Tuba, so I'm going to my 3,100 feet, about two miles uh, west of Agassiz, heading north. Okay, so that should be someone over there. To the left, I don't see anyone. Well, any time now I'm going to start getting a low fuel warning. I'll have more than enough fuel to get back, but... That's Miracle Valley over to my right. It's a good place to do our uh, forced landing practice. Usually pretty quiet. Mission traffic, Delta Mike Kilo is just over Mission City, heading west, and I'll see you guys. That was dumb. Made no sense. Uh, are you over Agassiz? Uh, Delta Mike Kilo is just in over Mission City next to the bridge, and I'm at 2,500. Could have been thank you. Delta Mike Two, two, uh, seven, seven, right? That's it. Let's look that up. Oh, one, two, two, seven, two. All right. Glen Valley traffic, Cessna 172 at Delta Mike Kilo is just past Miston Bridge over the city, and I'll be transiting through to Pitt Meadows heading west. 2,500.
right, so I'll make another call over Crescent Island here. Pit Lake traffic, that's not one seven eight four four eight. The uniform here over south of the Pit Lake checkpoint at two thousand three hundred, heading northbound. Practice climbing and descending, and one traffic above us, no conflict in the uniform. Uh, they just sounded like gibberish, but that was uh, Pit Lake sharing the fre same frequency as Glen Valley. My valley drive, that's not one thing to do, don't around, coming on the south side of the phone is still transiting at 2,200 feet to 2,600 inch. Midwell is not safe, people that are here, not off the present island, 3,500 feet, facing south road, I will. that to the last second. That's why we talk on the radio to make sure that we know what we're doing. Traffic to Cessna 172 Fox Abrava Zulu Quebec. We are just over power lines at uh, 2900 descending southbound back to Pit Meadows. Pit Lake traffic. Glen Valley traffic at Delta Mike Hilo is just over Crescent Island at 2500 heading to Pit Meadows. Everybody starts at 2000 feet. Not the Crescent Island, it's taking southbound 2000 feet. Two 
27 right. feet over the blasting area, inbound for uh, full stop requesting, with Delta requesting uh, 26 right. So right up ahead there is my runway, and I'm going to really, really, really try hard to make a good landing. Two right, altimeter 29 or 33, cleared right base traffic at your 12 o'clock, two miles, inbound Cessna 1700. They're also for the north runway, identified. Right base and looking for traffic, see the little bit of Bravo, so Quebec Tower, number two, runway 26 left, follow Cessna, one mile final, uh, slight right turn to uh, get your base closer in, approved. Bravo, Zulu, Quebec, uh, we have the traffic and we'll make the base a little bit closer. All right, landing lights on, let's do our check. All right, let's go on Mixture Rich. Let's not go too far. Tower Bravo Zulu Quebec. Bravo Quebec Tower. Then we have three circuits. Bravo Zulu Quebec approved. Thank you very much, Bravo Zulu Quebec. Okay, Oak. That's me in the glide path. That's not too bad. One red light. Even though it's goofy that those things even. My vision's not that bad, and it's hard to see. Indian Union Form Tower, keep your base, sit close to able, clear to land, runway 26 right. Keep the base close, and uh, clear to land, I, uh, Indian Union Form. Zulu Lima Lima Tower, previously mentioned traffic is at your 1 o'clock of 1 mile in the right base, that's not 1,200, also for the north runway. I'm uh, looking for traffic, Zulu Lima Lima. So at Yankee Delta Tower, exit Delta, Delta to apron for monitor ground, 1, 2, 3, 8, 1 off, good day. Julie, Elta, Julie, Yankee Delta, Delta, and monitoring. Bravo, Zulu, Quebec Tower, left hand circuits, clear touch and go, runway 26 left. Clear touch and go, runway 26 left, Bravo, Zulu, Quebec. Delta, Mike Hilo, number 2, runway 26 left, follow six now, one mile final. Number 2, I have the traffic, uh, Delta, Mike Hilo. All right, well, 1,000 feet right in front of me is the... Uh, 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 two six right, and I can't see the other traffic. Zulu Lima Lima Tower, continue on the wider right base. Uh, that traffic is still at your one o'clock and one mile in the closer right base. Uh, widen the base and uh, look for traffic, Zulu Lima Lima. Zulu Lima Lima Tower, uh, correction, no need to widen the base, just continue flying the base as you are. Okay, continue the base, Zulu Lima Lima. Okay, let's go 20, let's go slow down a little bit. Lima Quebec at F15, request local east, with information Delta. 500. Russia, Quebec, Lima Quebec, pick ground, runway 26, right, altimeter 29 or 33, taxi by a Foxtrot, Delta, cross runway 18, contact tower 1263, holding short, squawk 3666. Okay, we're on final, that's 40. Zulu Lima Lima Tower, number one, runway 26 right. One for 26 right, Zulu Lima Lima. Delta Mike Kilo Tower, clear to land, runway 26 left. Clear to land, 26 left, Delta Mike Kilo. That was a little slow. We're at 60. See if I can get over to the right a little bit more so I don't land. Feet to the floor. Birds up above. Eh. Indian Uniform exit, Foxtrot. Foxtrot to apron 5. Monitor ground, 1, 2, 3, 8, 1 off. Right, no need to call. And use caution that there's a company Cessna that will be taxiing out shortly as well. Alright, Zulu Lima Lima Tower, clear to land, runway 26 right. Clear to land, 26 right, Zulu Lima Lima. Awful landing, ugh. Yuck. <laughs> Delta Mike Kilo Tower, exit Charlie, Charlie to apron 1, monitor ground, 1, 2, 3, 8, 1 off, have a good day. Bottom of the ground, Delta Mike Kilo. Wow. So 
Those are the two worst landings I believe I've actually done in an airplane. Performance anxiety. Terrible. Ugh. Well, I'm safe. Lima Tower, exit Foxtrot, Foxtrot tape in five, monitor ground, one, two, three, one off use caution. There's going to be a Cessna taxiing out of apron five onto Foxtrot uh, shortly. I'm watching for a traffic to Lima Lima. Bravo Zulu, Quebec left, down one, runway two, six left, four, touch and go. Bravo Zulu, Quebec Tower, clear, touch and go, runway two, six left. Clear, touch and go, runway two, six left, Bravo Zulu, Quebec. Okay. Flaps retract, transponder to a standby. Go off, strobe off, taxi on. Ground lean, record the time. 141. Tower Hotel November Jewel ready at two six right. Hotel November Julia Tower, right down wind departure, cleared for takeoff runway two six right. Hotel November Julia. Pick round Delta my Kilo one, Charlie. Just confirming I'm clear to apron one and also if I could close my flight plan. Delta my Kilo ground affirmative, flight plan's been closed. Thank you very much, Delta my Kilo. Oh, not gonna lie, on that landing, I was kind of drifting to the to the left there, and I thought, oh, what's gonna happen here? And I know I got it, but every time you go into a landing, you just think that uh, I'm just gonna grease this, and when it doesn't happen, you start thinking, well, that wasn't too bad. But then when you start drifting over and thinking, well, I'm not quite sure what I should be doing right now. How good do I want to make this landing? So that is, uh, I'll have to review that. That's the nice thing about having a camera, I guess, is I could see where I went, went wrong. On that last one, I thought I was fine. Up until just the end, I must have floated a little bit too long or maybe a flare too high. In Chilliwack, it was a bounce, which was crappy in itself. But you know what? I think. The navigation was all right. Tower squawk ident altimeter two nine three three cleared into the control zone for the water report. Gold nears bridge five hundred or below identified. And despite a couple of goofy calls on the uh, training frequencies, I thought my communication was all right. Or you know, considering maybe six seven months ago, I would have been second third guessing what I was about to say and it, you know, Mike fright, but. So that's getting better, but still, you know, even when I wasn't very good on the on the on the radio, I felt my landings were all right. Today, well. Oh crap! Where did I? Charlie, Foxtrot X-ray, pit tower, squawk ident, runway 26 right, altimeter 29 or 33, cleared straight in, identified. Clear straight in, runway 26 right, Charlie, Fox X-ray. Okay. Uh, okay, good enough. Alright, well, let's shut this boy down. 
Throttle of 1000, which we are. We are monitoring 121.5. Let's see. Well, pretty sure that's 121.5. Avionics and electrics. I'll turn that off in a sec. Beacon switch, leave it on. Taxi light off. Nav light off. Let's do a mag check. Turn them off. Yep, that's good. Mixture. And now we're not paying for it anymore. Flight just got much cheaper. He's out. Well, not a bad flight.